going off to another adventure. And this time, we're going to go back to the East Coast. We're going to go to the East Coast North towards St. Augustine, Jacksonville, to Anastasia State Park and Campground. And what I'm excited about, I left early this morning to get there early to check out everything around that area that we can see. But unfortunately, if you can see, it's raining out. So, we'll bring you along. Are you gonna come along? Chubb Dab Adventures, American Freedom Tour 2024. Let's get fired up. And I did research the weather before I went, and I did notice that there's gonna be about 30% rain the next two nights, the two nights we're gonna be staying there. But, I booked it anyways, because this is a hard campground to get into. It's a very popular one. So, I took that chance of the 30% chance of rain, hoping for the best. So, let's just hope for the best and see what happens. So, a fun area of the land in. Hey, Mike, look at that mountain right there.
beach thing. Hold up. Push up. I think Spanky's. Little tiny Spanky's bar. That's pretty cool. That's what I'm saying. That's what I want to do. I want to open up myself a little bar like Spanky's.
All right, guys. Well, success. We drove up to Jacksonville to go to this place called Island Wing Company Grill and Bar. And there's like two of them. There's one in Destin. Or there might be more than that, but the one I've been to is Destin, Florida, and this one. And the reason why I've been this one is because I did a, a job, a hospital over here called St. Francis. But anyways, they have this tiki fire sauce that's very, very hot, but it's got so much good flavor in it. So I was able to buy like a four ounce tub of it for like four bucks. So I had to get that. So that's why we came up here. <laughs> and we had some time to waste. You know, I'm gonna go to Publix and I'll probably just grab something. Even if I don't eat tonight, I can have it tomorrow, so. You know, it's a freaking beautiful day now. The sun's out, and we're about an hour away from where we need to be, our next destination. So, I think there's a public guy here. So, let's see. This guy, look at this guy's wood, 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 wood. into real quick grab some wood and then we're gonna head to our next destination that is the park and Anastasia State Park Doogie. All right, so I did get a little dinner for tonight or tomorrow night, and it's a pre made meal. It's a salmon, stuffed salmon, crab meat, stuffed salmon with broccoli. Sounds phenomenal. And then I got two parfaits again because I love the parfaits. I love my parfaits. And three bottles of wood. What? I wanted to get wind decks so I can clean the windows so I can show you guys a little bit more clear every time. But, hold on. Here's what it is. I don't keep. I don't keep. How's my boy? Where's my boy? He's like, where are we gonna get there, Daddy? Where are we gonna get there? We gotta buy another house. Three minutes. Let's see if it's gonna take us through the good way. Yeah, it is. Cool. And we're going right through St. Augustine. So I'm gonna show you guys the drive through St. Augustine from Jacksonville. And then we'll figure out tomorrow what we'll do. The sun feels missing, huh? But it's actually 
feels really good right now. So we went through Orlando, Daytona, Daytona Beach, to Jacksonville, and now we're gonna head to St. Augustine. All right guys, we're on 95 South. And we're rolling right into St. Augustine right now. Uh, there's four camper vans over there in that park. Oh yeah, look at the historic buildings. Ripley, believe it or not, the one that my brother and my nephew right there. Oh yeah, here's the fort. Oh yeah, this is where we'll come down here, guys. We're gonna go check in, and we'll come down here tomorrow morning before everybody gets crazy with the park, and we'll walk around and guys show you the fort. Grab some lunch or something down here and we'll figure out from there because this is probably crazy right now.
Hello, checking in, 90, 94. Right here? Nope, but I actually just found out that I had been here before. I had stayed here, but I went to the park like three, four years ago. I'm like, this looks all familiar. Yeah. <laughs> so we're here at the ranger station. Yeah. We'll down about a mile, take a right, take another right. You're on that last loop angel wing in site 94. Awesome. Our checkout farm here is at one. Numbers are down here if you have any problems. Okay. This code will get you in that main gate out front, and then this one right here as well. Okay, same thing. Skip the line. Awesome, thank you so much. Yep, you too. Yes! We made it, we made it. Alright, so I always forget. I get so excited when I get here. You go here, take a right, then take another right, and go down, and take another right, and it'll be 94. So, man, this is gonna be an amazing two days. Water sports. slow. 
Look at this! Oh yeah! This is so dope! We'll probably take Duke out. You guys got to Look at this spot. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Electric. I think we'll be far enough away. No water though? Oh, there's no water. Try. I got a gallon. Oh, there's water right there. Sweet. A gallon and a half. 394. So we got 93. Yeah, 94. Here's your 95. God, 94 is so nice. Oh. Hear the water? Oh my god. What? Are you kidding me right now? You guys gotta come to this park. You have to come to this park. This is absolutely crazy. My happy boy, look at him. This is exactly, exactly my favorite spots when he come to campsites. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, pinch me, I'm pinching myself. Oh, pinch myself, look at my little boy's happy, he even knows. And there's no reason to go anywhere else besides this area. You can go in the woods here, Duke. Go in the woods, go in the woods, go in the woods, but just don't go to the road. All right, all right. All right, guys, we're going to start setting up. Welcome to this episode of us here at Anastasia State Park here in St. Augustine, Florida. And do we hear something? That's the Atlantic Ocean. Who's fired up? I'm fired up. God, this is so awesome. spot every time. That's the key right there. That way you know if you ever need to like get away from somewhere sometime. Fast, quick, especially when you're out and about. about this place is there's sand everywhere. It's not like the one that we were at, Jonathan Dickens, where everything was concrete. And I'd rather have sand and have this view than the other view.
always a bonus to have left over wood. This will be our base. Boink. This is our setup for the night, or for the next two nights, actually. Look at this. Who is it wouldn't be pumped to hang out here? Man, I am so pumped. So excited. And now we're gonna get the electric out. Come on, dude. How you doing? Come on. Get back here. Oh boy. Come on. Not everybody is going to be happy. That, and then we'll plug in to our power, plug in the jack, the jackery. That's gonna be charging. That 22 going in and three watts out, which is gonna give it a positive charge. Food in there. I get the parade in there too. This one. Let's 
think I can leave the hot sauce out. The hot sauce over there. Got some salmon. Here we go. It's a beauty. 71 degrees out. Alright, guys, we're all set up and ready. Alright, well, we're gonna chill for 3.30. Yeah, so we'll chill about a half hour half hour to an hour and then we'll walk around the campground I'll take a look at the map that we got real quick all right dude you can go in there just all right come up I'm you can get in there go on we're gonna take a look at the map and we're gonna chill for a minute walk all the campground here. If, if we don't walk all the campground, because it's pretty a lot of walking, we can drive. We can come down here. Say, it's our amphitheater. You know, we can come down and do this little natural hike here. And there's another loop there. And then we can go down to the beach area. No dogs around the beach, but See, now I feel like I'm very spoiled from last week. So what did I, I just got back on Saturday. No, I went from Tuesday to Thursday, so I got back Thursday. No, I went from Monday to Wednesday, got back Wednesday. And now Sunday, we're here at this one. And what a difference it is. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. But meanwhile, I enjoy it. <laughs> I literally enjoy this. It's like he's getting gray right here. Should look at the pictures that when I first got him. Looks like he's getting more gray. Oh, don't get mad. No, you're not getting old. You're only six. Come look at me. Maybe you're just, I'm rubbing off on you. Maybe all my gray hair is attaching to your, your black. But I don't think it remember being that, getting whiter. Alright guys, well, welcome back to this episode, and this episode is going to bring us around this whole campground sites or hiking trail. I don't know how I'm going to get myself. But meanwhile, what we're going to do is we're going to go around here, and we're going to take this main road and possibly hit up all the campground sites. Nice. 
knife on that. You know, we could make it work, but that wouldn't give us. Six, ninety-seven, and then ninety-eight right there. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Nice out there. How you doing? I like it. Awesome. What year? Uh, 75. That's so sweet. Is it original or did you restore it? Uh, it's been painted because um, they had to replace the rubber around the windows and it shrunk over the years. Yeah, it makes sense, right? Rots away. And since they had to take all the windows out to do that, we got to paint it at the same time. It's the same color that it was, but it's got a clear coat on it. Yeah, it looks beautiful. That thing is sweet, man. Where are you from? Uh, Canada. Cool back. Nice. Awesome. I'm from upstate New York, so around that area. Oh, okay. Have a great one. Cheers. See, that's what I want to do right there, is restore old camper vans, RVs. 75, that baby was. 75. 24. Guys, this is the last loop. Well, let's go this way, Duke. This is one way. There's a sign here that says probably I just parking here. 91 through 105. God, I'm looking at nature. You guys wonder my videos are I always have wild birds. This is how it really is. I think up here on the right is that trail. I'd like to do that and then we walk our way back. I don't feel like going through all these today. There's definitely a lot of walking or driving or riding bikes to get to where you want to go. And there's only a few trails and stuff. But the, the great thing about this place is one, you got the Atlantic Ocean Beach, you got ancient sand dunes to take out. Look, they do have, look at that, the nature. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Oh, it's empty? Nope, oh, mosquitoes and no things are out. Oh, no, that's just a fire pit. I think we're going to take it. Could be one, though. Get out of here. I want to do loops. I want to go hit that nature trail. Come on, let's go hit the nature trail. I said this is another loop. Trail guy, 36.255. I'm going to show you the tents. You can fit some good tents, two tents, and a bug deal. Pretty good sites here, you know, and they're spaced out to the point where you get a little privacy. You know, I'm pretty pretty happy with my side. I mean, I can't go wrong. 94, I'm all wow. Oh, 18, 235, no large RVs. Just great. So you do a lot of tent camping. Small 
RVs. Like my RV is tiny. I got a micro van. She got a micro camper van, which pretty much like all of my things is right to the right. Come on. Oh boy. There's the 1 through 17 loop there. Right across is the ancient dune trail. With doggy bags. Sweet. This is nice. This is a beautiful night to be hiking. Landscaping wise, weather wise, 70s, no humidity. East Coast, St. Augustine, Anastasia State Park. Are you kidding me? Got my dookie. All oh, good. It's probably a quick one, but I like this freaking, what they call them, um, ancient sand dunes. Right here. Kind of similar to when we were at um, at uh, Jonathan Davidson. That one is 86 feet above sea level. It was an ancient one. And now we're, God, was it Jupiter? Probably, what, three hours north? Four hours north of that area? A few days later, see? Anybody want to know how I work? Spontaneous. Do I want to go camping? Yeah. Let's look up and see what they got. All right, we'll do that. I need to put my hiking shoes on. That's it's not the smartest thing you've ever done. Dude, you want to take a break? Want some water? Dance in my pants make me want to dance. All your friends. Right, Dookie? It's water. That's why I brought my backpack. Look at this. Perfect. Hey, Duke. Oh, yeah. oh. Hey, who taught you to get up on here? Start calling you old man, Doogie. All right, so we just met a nice lady, and she said that this trail can actually take you to the beach, and it also take you down to the park area. But also, we'll go back around, and take us to the campground from there. But before we go to St. Augustine, we'll take you guys to. Uh, we'll take a drive around the park to show you exactly what it looks. Like. Because I am in this relaxed mode right now. I'm so tired. Like, I could fall asleep right here in the, in the leaves. I haven't slept in 
Who knows how long? I laid there from like 8 o'clock all the way until 2 3 in the morning. Just tossed and turning, watching TV, chilling, watching a movie, watching Dateline. Alright, so here, this is where we're at. Some ancient sign dunes. Alright. Come on, dude. Alright, that should take us back to the campground and then old ancient tree. That was pretty cool. See the three dudes with big old cameras. They didn't see anything. And then two ladies saw tortoises. Alright, so that will take you down to the beach area, but we don't want to do that today. Tonight. We're just gonna keep going. Ancient dunes. Let's go dude, this way. We gotta keep going this way. We still got about a half a mile, bro. Alright, here's the beginning of it. So we're gonna walk all the way down to get around. Alright guys, that was a great walk. That's pretty awesome. Nice little hike for the evening, but I am getting tired. Duke's on a mission upon a star. Snoop Doggy Dog in the caviar. In the back of a limousine, you know who you are. Let's go right there. Whoa! <laughs> nice. Alright guys, well, we're getting back to our camp. So, I appreciate you guys watching this episode. And stay tuned for tomorrow's episode at 7 p.m. Every evening, me traveling around the country with Duke, a dog, myself, Solo, and this micro. You gonna come along? American Freedom Tour 2024. Let's get fired up. Whoa. Guys, well, welcome back to this episode. And tonight, we're just gonna put a fire together because I am beat tired. I was up all freaking night last night, just rolling, turning, watching Dateline, watching movies, watching YouTube, watching Facebook, watching shorts, and I just get to sleep. And by the time we left this morning, there was no time for me to fall asleep. So we just walked around the campground down this street, down to the loop that you guys saw the last episode, and now Duke, I'm sure he's ready to go to bed. Well, meanwhile, we're going to get a fire going, so that's what we're going to do right now. Good boy treat, okay? Good boy treat. I guess you gotta fill your. I gotta fill your good boy treat. There we go. We got enough for one more. Charge in here? Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's still charging. What about this one? It's still charging too. Alright. Let's 
still charging. Let's see what this is doing. Oh yeah, looking good. This gets hot, so yeah, it's hot. Let's check out this. Nothing getting frozen. Nope. Perfect. There's my salmon right there. I'm not sure what I want to eat. If I want to eat anything. All right, guys. So this is number 24, 24, 94 here at Anastasia State Park in St. Augustine, or Anastasia Island, or Anastasia Lighthouse, right on the Atlantic Ocean, if you guys can hear. It's nice to get right there, ocean, the waves. There's my little dude. In the last episode, we just walked. God, I don't even know. Let's check it out and see. Let's see how far we walk. Seems like it's a lot, just because I'm tired as shit. Or shoot. Uh, oh, one and a half miles. That's nice. So that's what we did right there. 1.4, and that's what we did. And we could have gone to the beach, or that beach side of the beach, but we want, oh no, it's on that side. I want to go over the ocean side. Let's go check out. He went in there. Usually, he waits for me to tell him. If you guys ever wonder what I use to hike all over the United States, it's All Trails. It's the best app out there. Gives you all the information. You can connect with people. You can rate your experience. You can say it's wet, dry, soaky, wet, snowy, whatever the word it is. If you don't like it, you do like it. It's afternoon hike, morning hike, what day it is, and then you keep track of all the areas you've been to which I've been doing but I haven't been like active on it to a point where I'm like okay I gotta make sure I get every single thing I'm doing every day <laughs> well kid having fun that's so awesome bathroom real quick. I'm gonna bring you along to show you what it looks like. God, I love this site. Amazing. You can get a good size three in here. That's for sure. These people, the whole trailer. So there is a little place that I'm talking about. You know, I grew up in the 80s, born in late 70s, 78, and, you know, sometimes you want to bring back the roots. We went camping at a Viking pop-up, and you see them once in a while. I love to, like, restore something like that, and someone my age would love to buy it because it brings back memories, so. these places I'm like why are they empty maybe they're coming late if they don't something paid for it I think hey I just went potty
unfortunately. We got some sandy deal, but this is what we gotta do. Shake it. Shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it. Man. Because, Duke, there's sand, and you don't know how to wipe off your paws yet. Um. Mm. If you want it, I do gotta do some good cleaning before we head out somewhere long term. Alright, so this is what Duke does. We just took him out like not more than a minute ago. Go in the van. Go on. Go in the van. Go on. Go on, Duke. Go in the van. In the van. Go on. No. Oh, he smells dog coming. <laughs> Go in the van. Go on. In the van. Go on. Come on. Dookie. I feel ya. I'm getting tired. Alright guys, I don't know how much I'm gonna last. I might just finish up this wood right here. And I'll have a few more logs in the morning, another bundle for tomorrow, and then and another bundle of the van, which I could save for another time, so. Alright, 
bomber or fix or what. Alright, we'll finish this up with one of them. Well guys, the four chicken wings that I had in the fire that was slowly warming up in that uh, carbo container. Fortunately, it did caught caught on fire. <laughs> I was able to steal three out of there and one got charcoal. So oh well. I had a feeling that was gonna happen, but meanwhile I was hoping for the best. Alright guys, this is going to burn out here pretty quick, so we're going to enjoy this and then we're going to hit the sack. It's still early, I know that, but meanwhile, like I said, yeah, it's only 7.30. So I'll probably be in bed and sleeping by 8.30, 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, I bet I'll sleep like a baby tonight though, so I guess we'll see in a little bit. Thanks for watching my episode. Freedom. Left, right, front, nothing. I don't have to black out anything. Ouch. Yeah. I'm gonna try to figure out how to get some um some filming lights in here. That way it's nice and bright and Two degrees. That's your bad. Hey guys, I enjoy showing you the reality of what it's really like to camp and travel in a small micro van with a dog solo here in Florida. I hope you enjoyed this episode because I am tired, tired as tired can be. And it's tired. And I think I have to go back outside. I might have to go to the john. But I don't think I'm gonna make it to the washroom just because there's nobody around me. And I'm a fan of peeing outside. <laughs> Don't even start that there, homie D. I'm just getting out in the bed. Gives me a chance to get everything situated. <laughs> yeah, cool. Comfy, comfy, comfy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, comfy. Uh oh. Does that mean we got? Does that mean we got an intruder? I would think we would have some intruders, but I did put the garbage in the front seat, so I don't want to sit there and watch this the whole night. Ooh.
Are you okay? You okay? Mm -mm. You're not coming out. I probably wouldn't be good, especially if I don't have my contacts in. I know we hear kids over here, but this is the sound that you hear. When they're slowly coming towards, or coming down, or coming out, looking for food. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to see any of them just because I can my contacts up, but... Okay, I understand where Dookie's coming from. What's that? Rock. <laughs> I forgot that. You got a parfait. I hope it's not too annoying. Actually, we just want it for circulation. You goop. Nobody's gonna get us because you're gonna scare them away, right? You're gonna scare them away? Hmm? Alright, guys. Well, I wanna say something. Thank you for watching this episode and this series here at this beautiful place called Anastasia State Park and Campground here in St. Augustine. Old community, old culture, and the fort and stuff we'll see tomorrow. Episode one or two from here. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but meanwhile, I look forward to it. But I want you guys to come along. Why? Because American Freedom Tour 2024 is fired up. Okay. You fire it up? Ooh. That big raccoon out there.
salt particles or something like that. This is not scary because some places in the country you go out, leave towards the bathroom. <coughs> mm. up the floor. Things falling out of the car. Whew. 
every morning, guys, first thing I do, I take care of my puppy. Gotta make sure he's all, all happy. Happy and full. Usually I bring a um, extra sheet with me. That way I don't go in the van and do those. I just cover this with a sheet. And I just do that. But I didn't, uh, I need to maybe go to like a Goodwill and get an old sheet to use to keep in here all the time. Good morning and welcome back to this episode of Trev Dev Adventures here at Anastasia State Park here at St. Augustine on the East Coast south of Jacksonville on the Atlantic Ocean and this is a beautiful beautiful campground this is site number 94 and I love it I am like literally by myself even though you hear a baby crying and people doing their thing Nobody there. A couple of old people over here. But you know, that's beautiful.
that's it doesn't show any rain near me. I take Duke for a walk, see if we go. You just went to the bathroom, number two, and look at it now. No, come on, let's go for a walk. Go for a walk. No, no go. All right, take right it then. I'm going to go for a walk. Look at that was all happy. So we made it from there, to there, back to here. While we go for a walk, we're going to show you guys the next loop over and then besides from there. So, this is the beginning of our loop here. Number 92. Let's see what our loop's called. Our loop is called Angel Wing Camp Loop. C Urchin Camp Loop 71 through 90. Alright, let's check it out. Once again, <clears throat> every time we do a loops, I'm going to show you guys the best I can when it comes to showing each site. 71. <laughs> Holsters. Yeah. 72. 73. Look at that beautiful. Nice camping van. There's 80, 
79s behind us. Maybe one. Oh, wow. There's soda. Maybe two. And there you go. Maybe three. 84. <coughs> Let's size that baby. The van should be over there somewhere. Alaska. There we go. Good place to be. Oh yeah, it's all right behind here. Cool. Bathroom. Men's rooms on this side, women's on the other side, showers. I think there's like three showers, three stalls, two urinals. Everybody likes to block themselves. Pretty cool. Here's a nice empty one. Down by the creek. This wouldn't be nice. The only problem would be people coming in and out. Yeah, I wonder what is down there. Maybe to get out. Extra soup, sand out, or can't put 56 through 70. Empty number 60. Oh, there's some wood right there. It's a nice spot. Some wood. Looks like it's custom made from um, a truck with no bed and then they custom made it out of metal or fiberglass. Kind of cool to find out. Oh, that's a nice one there. 66. Yeah. 
70 all right this is the end of this loop down here is a fireplace that we looked at yesterday yesterday evening all right there's the third loop shark eye 36 55 55 Here's 37. Here's 38. Wasaka Beach. 39. this morning. See, you can work out any time and anywhere, guys. 45. Beautiful. Good setup. It's like a pull through. Seven's right and forty eight. That's a huge one there. Wow. <clears throat> forty nine. Yeah, <clears throat> I think the mornings are the best time to do this, guys. Can we have to show you exactly? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> it's only broken record, don't I? Nice, old school. Yeah, it slides out back and front. Or actually just front maybe. Or at least the bottom part does. It's paved. There's 53 gun handicap. And again, it's got a wheel down that way. So these are probably going to be smaller sites, I think. So they do got washer and dryers. Looks like there's one set, maybe two sets. Papi. Papi. 
28A buddy Ancient sand dunes is across from the first loop. And it's just sea bean loop 1 through 17, no large ones. So this is gonna be. Good morning, how are you? This one's going to be similar to the one next to us, I would say. There's number 11. buggy around here though that's for sure nine and ten you're gonna be staring at each other so I would consider this a buddy one family of two three four eleven
shelf. Uh, keep organized. All right, here's your last one, guys. Number 17. They clean them all nice too. And it's just cleaned up. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna head back to camp, and we're gonna get uh, dressed, ready, clean up a little bit, and then we're gonna head over to uh, say Augustine. Come along, America Freedom Tour, 2020. Four. Let's get fired up. Dookie! Did you get some rest? Well, did you get some rest? Guys, welcome back to this episode of Tread Up Adventures. And right now, we're gonna start washing up, getting things ready, and we are going to take a drive around this park to show you exactly what this park looks like. We come along, American Freedom Tour 2024 is fired up. Alright guys, let's take a cruise around this park and see what they have to offer. And then we're gonna head down to St. Augustine. You ready? You ready? <laughs> Thank you. 
guys, we're not going to show you everything around this campground because we already did. Bathrooms.
Dios. Looks like it's gonna be some traffic getting over the bridge, but I'm not surprised. Definitely need a deep clean. Pull everything out when we get back. Deep clean this.
Plaza de San Marcos. Oh, that's Bill. story on this it is never it's never been invaded after pigeons man
drawbridge bridge so up that we get stuck behind that. Go and get in with your national pass. Park pass. All right, so we're gonna go up the light. We're gonna take a right. We're gonna come back through this way and show you that. Try to come. The point. this way a little bit later. Neymar. So cool. Here's the pirate museum that my brother and my nephew went to a few years ago.
come on. Hanging out, right? Yep. <laughs> All right, take this back. Go there. Ready. I just put Duke back in the thing. He didn't want to walk anymore, so it's gonna rest up. I'm gonna go check out a couple little pictures over here. Oh, music player. So cool. She's all.
green bench for so many years. It's here. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to get uh, chowder, half and half. So we get half of them uh, minority of chowder and a million corn chowder. Try that Zanchi's place and try that and then we'll go get Duke and then we'll go further down this way. I'll show you guys a little bit more of this town. I just looked at my pass, and my pass is expired. So we're not going to be able to go over unless I pay 15 bucks, which might be worth it. So.
Yosemite National Historic Landmark. Where did Plaza del Constitucion? 2nd Spanish Corner period, built in 1803 to 1817. And it's still standing. Oh, it's just really cool looking. Go that way, all these old homes. Let's go this way. strip and work our way back to the car because we got about an hour 15 minutes I think left. Fortunately I'm not gonna be able to go on the fort one I don't want to leave Duke in the van with the sun out which is nice and cool. Two I don't want to pay the 15 bucks. Sauce. So they only had like four different options. 
It's Buffalo Ranch sauce. So I end up getting them all on the side, but I got no blue cheese. Can't eat chicken drop blue cheese. And that's my opinion. Ranch, ranch for people that are a softies. This at a 3.5. So, guys, I've been thinking about actually doing every time I go travel, I go out and get chicken wings all the time to do a chicken wing review to let you guys know exactly what good places to eat wings, not eat wings, and that's my opinion. buy a card and then it goes automatically into <clears throat> a card and then you buy the beers you want and then you tap out after that which is pretty awesome but anyways this has been a beautiful beautiful area to hang out at today it's 2 30 oh. got 10 minutes until our but I think there's a brewery across the bridge heading back, so we're gonna stop there. We can get a beer there. And then we'll head back to the camp, hang out, go for a little hike, and then chill. Go back to the van? Alright. Alright, guys, we're gonna go back to the van. This is the uh, end of St. Augustine walk around and brewery and wing tasting so come along for the next one america freedom tour 2024 let's get fired up Big day today, huh? <laughs> like it's a big day. Well, it's a good big day, huh? Oh, <laughs> right to your bed, huh? What are we gonna do if I find a female from? You'll be happy or will we be sad? I think you'll be happy. God, guys, you gotta come to St. Augustine, Florida. It's the most beautiful ancient world and history but as of right now Now we're gonna check out this place, US, what was it called? Old Coastal Ales, it's a brewery here in St. Augustine. You gonna chill? Let me see if they have dogs. If they allow dogs, then we'll bring you in. If not, <laughs> we're good. All right guys, so let's check it out. Oh. Looks like an old donut house. All right guys, we're here at this brewery, Old Coast House, and I got myself a nice hockey one. I have not seen one of those in a long, long time. I'm starting to get back popular again. Oh, really? Because it was like the German Shepherds, the Rottweilers, the like German Oh, no, I was talking about the camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the dog. No. 
<laughs> There's a bear. The movies now. I don't watch that. Well, Thank my you. grandkids came down. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. But one of the guys has a big old butt like that. So where are you from? I'm from St. Pete. I live in St. Pete. But I'm regularly from New York. What's happening? Uh, so, so I'm here to um, St. Nova and the State, State Park. So I'm out and about chilling. I love this area. It's great. Oh, I uh, I, you know, I love the whole historic thing. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a construction, I'm a, I'm a construction guy. You know what I mean? So I love like old buildings. I love old architecture. Well, you can see a lot of different architecture in St. Augustine. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys try to understand the stuff that you think we're Alright guys, we're leaving. Uh, I just bought this one. It's kind of cool. Look at their symbol. There's two kegs on a bike. <laughs> well, we might stop off at one of the spots to take Duke out real quick. Kina Foundation. That's so awesome. Old Spanish quarries. Let's see, you can have a dog. Let's check it out. Come on, Dookie. Oh, yeah, I like it. Let's go. Come on. Oh, boy. bring my phone to figure it out so He just tripped me. Dookie. He just tripped me. Let's go. Oh, it's a beautiful landscape now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Let's follow my dog, he knows. Good when you have a dog that knows where he's going back to. Hey, get out of there. Hey, 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 hey. July 23rd, D21, Major General Andrew Jackson, Florida's first temporary governor. So awesome.
you go, bud. Come on, go swimming. Oh, you want to go swimming? No? All right, come on. Look at the pimp ride. Come on. Most happiest dog in the world right here. It's really good. Oh, that dog, that bird came back. Look at the bird right there. The blue one. He came back to talk to Dookie. Come on, Dookie. That bird wants to say hi. You want to say hi to the bird? Look at him, right there. Look at the bird. Look at that. Right there. Look at Fishing table, large trail. Thank you, man. All right, come on, let's go. Come on, Bob. Is that nice? Genuine here. We gotta get Duke a life jacket. Oh, there's the van. There's the pimp ride. You don't go to the van. Go to the van. Come on. Go to the van. Go to the van. It's right there. Gosh, look at this life I live. I live this life. Get hungry. Get hungry.
Ik ga het
All right, guys. We're gonna cook up this. Damn. I got broccoli and salmon stuff. Seafood stuff salmon with broccoli. Oh no! Look at that. That looks super good. It smells great. Doesn't mean it's great. guys in the morning. Oh, crack it down here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Well, I have to say, that was a pretty crazy day yesterday a lot of walking around a lot of beautiful buildings structures oh man i love st augustine if you guys ever get a chance to go there do it all right i'm going back to bed see you guys in the morning peace
Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to this episode of Treb Dev Adventures. This morning, here at Anastasia State Park, over here in St. Augustine, this is wrap up day and head out and go on another adventure. It's around 9 o'clock and we don't have to be out to one, so we'll probably just chill, relax, enjoy this beautiful spot for a moment, clean up a couple carpets, and then be out. So it won't take time. It won't take time to uh, clean up everything and get out of here. So but I think what we're going to do is, since uh, we did that entrance one yesterday, We'll stop off at the two on the way out just to take a look. The March one. I think there's two March. All we did that one yesterday. There's the one on the left. I don't know. We'll figure it out once we get out of here. So that's how I do it. Go with the flow, yo. <sighs> Laying here, guys, and you just hear the ocean. All right, I'm thinking of making a plan, and the plan is going to be get up, load up the car, head down to one uh, hiking trail, one at the marsh with the uh, boardwalk there. If Duke's allowed, we'll do that, and then I'd feel like driving down A1A again towards Daytona and before we get to Daytona start heading back home um, just because I know it's gonna be crazy down there bike weeks going on so I bet you it's gonna be pretty packed but I'm gonna try to find a place nice tiki bar or something to stop off at to try out before we head back so that sounds like a plan don't get us back home before we key to get back before a lot of traffic starts. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and let's get fired up. <laughs> All right. It's time to get up. Start packing up, and we'll get out of here. yesterday you were getting so much love like always I'm not gonna bore you guys for putting this in so I'll see you all
realize they had a neighbor. All right, guys. Well, this is going to include this episode at, at Anastasia State Park, Site 94. And we're going to start heading back, but we're going to make off a couple stops. Going to go check out one more little trail, hopefully, on the way out. I'd like to go to the water real quick and um, see what the ocean looks like right now. And we'll do that on the way out. And then slowly head back and then go on to another adventure. Hope you guys come along, would you? American Freedom Tour 2024. Let's get fired up. Enjoy the ride. Furbish old RVs and campers, anything possible that people can live in, do tiny homes, stuff like that. So, looking and doing something like that someday. Hopefully, you want to go for a walk. Do you want to go for a walk? Take a look, <clears throat> see if this is the one we did yesterday. I think it is. Yep, all right, dude, come on. Let's go back, man. Yeah, so this is the one we did yesterday. <laughs> you can chill and relax.
my new Eggman. <coughs> Let's add to it. way but I have a feeling that it's gonna be crazy busy so definitely a nice place to come chill. I 
Kids Cafe. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. showing the reality of what it's like to travel around a van. You gotta stop off in different areas that you don't know. Let your dog out, stop off areas, let yourself out. You just never know what you, you can find around here. Daytona, peace yo. We'll see you in the future. Yeah. 